so we're given this graph then of y equals f of x defined for all real values of x and it's got this point here r which is at the point 4 minus 3 and what we've got to do is sketch the graph then of y equals 2 lots of f of x plus 4 so what I've done here is I've copied the graph then of y equals f of x and how do we go about sketching this graph? Well first of all what we've got to notice is that we've got f of x plus 4 and f of x plus 4 would take the graph of f of x and it would translate it 4 units to the left parallel to the x-axis. So in other words what we do is we take our graph here and we've got this point R four units cross three units down so if we slide it to the left four units this point here is going to move across and end up on the y-axis three units down so if we just mark that point in here as minus three we've got our new graph here of just f of x plus four now what we need to do now is multiply by 2 and what this does is it stretches the graph by a scale factor of 2 parallel to the y-axis. So this point here at minus 3 is now going to be pulled down by a factor of 2 in other words down to minus 6 so put that in as minus 6. Points on the x-axis this point here and this point here are invariant under a stretch parallel to the y-axis that means they're not going to move. This point here which is this distance up from the x-axis is going to be doubled so it's going to end up somewhere up here. Similarly this point here which is this distance up from the x-axis well that's going to be doubled it'll be somewhere up there. So when we come to draw this graph what we've got is a graph looking something like this a line coming from here going through this point down to the minus 6 and then back up through this point out to the point here. So if we draw it in it's going to look something like this. Okay so I hope that's given you some idea then how we go about drawing this graph.